This is a man photo. A man photo? <laughs> like a picture of a man? Man Frodo. I'm going to be talking some Man Frodo products today. So before I talk about my main tripod, tripod? Oh, this is a good start. Before I talk about my main tripod, I'm going to go slap the camera on this little guy. I don't know about you, but I'm always curious as to what other gear people use and why. My first tripod was just the Amazon special, just some cheapy, it was plasticky, could barely hold any weight on it. It was garbage. I've heard a lot about Manfrotto stuff. So I ended up buying the Manfrotto Action Compact. So let's talk about it. This isn't gonna be a deep dive review or anything like that. I just wanna quickly talk about, this was under a hundred bucks for Manfrotto, so it has pretty good quality. People call it a travel tripod, but I use it just around my house, around my studio, and I bought it for two reasons. The first, it has a pretty easy to lock kind of gun style adjustment that locks up pretty easily. So when I'm behind the camera, I can use it and get some pretty good soft, smooth tilting and panning. And also when I'm in selfie mode, when I record myself and I put this on, I have the joystick looking towards me and I can adjust the camera to get the composition that I want. So the action feels really good for the price point. And then the legs and the height, I mean, it's it's not too bad. It can handle my Sony a7 IV with some pretty beefy lenses on it. I have never once felt like it was gonna fall over or top heavy or anything. It has a few quick adjustments as far as height goes. I'm not gonna really get into the details here, but the one thing, and I don't know if this is a real thing or not, it must be. The one thing I dream for in a tripod is being able to have buttons up high to drop the legs down low. Do you know what I mean? So right now, if I want to quickly drop this down, I have to open all the latches on all three legs, go around, lock them all up, Gotta get fast away. And boom. There we go, full height. I can walk and talk with that thing. But that took me what, like 20 seconds? It's too long. I don't like that. The reason I'm making this video, and my question to you is, what is the difference between this $100 Manfrotto tripod that works great, it has great smooth action, and the price point's good, it's Manfrotto quality, it feels pretty good. For somebody like me, who always wants to kind of min-max all the gear in my studio, I wanna have a reason for why I, I have each piece. And I mean, for price point, for the name quality, for the action that I get, I'm very happy. All right, let's take a look here. The locking mechanism, you just, I think it's quarter inch, you just screw this onto the bottom of the camera and it drops in nice and easily. I have yet to invest in a quick release system for my camera, which I would very much like to get into. What the heck is that company that does all, I got the bag. Anyway, I think that might be one of the next things that I get into, the quick clips, the quick releases and things like that. But for right now, I mean, I'm happy with it. Let me swap back over to it real quick. What is this, the Pixie? I can't even remember what this thing's called. These things are sweet, I love it. Okay, and let's put you over here. All right, so now we're back on the Manfrotto. So see, I've got that, I got some nice little the joystick. I got it sitting backwards on here. So let's lock in. I inherited this one from my old man. This is a Vel Velbin, Velbon. It's a little bit beefier, similar clasping legs. I guess these are a little bit longer, so I don't have quite as many clasps as on the Manfrotto one. And this has a bit more of the arm and everything's kind of adjustable. So, I do feel a little bit more confident with, with my camera on this mount instead, but I don't know. I'm pretty new about the world of, uh, of tripods, so I'd love to hear what you think. Is there a reason why you use a particular tripod? What should I look at? Is the quick release system kind of what I should look into and invest in? I think that it is. Ideally, I want something where I can take my camera, put it on the tripod very quick, hang it on my backpack or whatever, my belt or something like that, and be able to be confident that the camera's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's it. This little Manfrotto. The one weird thing about this little com action compact, I suppose, is all the legs, <laughs> they're like this. There's just three little legs and they have no knees. There's nothing that connects them in the middle. So when one leg isn't completely out, you have a weird balance points doesn't balance properly. So you just have to make sure you kick out all the legs so that it's always sitting flat and then it's fine. Whereas something like this Velbon has the, the, the piece in the middle that just kind of snaps it in place and gives you the confidence that it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I, I think that this little, uh, for the price point, that Action Compact, pretty decent one. So that's about it. I just wanted to create a video. I always love chatting in the comments about this kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. 
Thanks for the supporting the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the Sad Studio. Don't forget to subscribe 100 times. <laughs> you heard her, now you got to. Yeah, do it like, like 9,000 times. There you go, subscribe 9,000 times. Thanks, everyone. And then we can celebrate. <laughs>